Chances are, if you don't play games like Farmville or Angry Birds, you certainly know someone who does. Social gaming, as it's been called, is one of the biggest trends of the decade. With us, we have Trip Hawkins, the founder of Electronic Arts and the CEO of social gaming startup Digital Chocolate. Trip, thanks for joining us. Pleasure. Tell us a little bit about Digital Chocolate and what you guys are up to right now. Well, we're a very fast-growing company with Facebook games and iPhone games. Just this year alone, we've added 25 million new customers on Facebook playing every month. And we've also now uh, uh, nearly had 100 million downloads on the iPhone. So who is the typical social gamer? Has that demographic changed or evolved over the years? I think it's changed pretty uh, radically. I, th I think probably most people uh, in the last uh, 10, 20 years would say, oh, I'm not a gamer. Because they've looked at video games and they know people that play video games and go, wow, that's way too complicated. Whereas uh, these much simpler casual games or mobile games, or in some cases uh, these uh, you know, hot new games on a platform like the iPhone, with a product like the iPhone, you have people that get a mobile phone and then get excited about the content that they can reach through the App Store or through their browser. And again, that's a, that's a really big change in behavior. Uh, prior to that, everybody just thought it's a mobile phone as something for voice. Now they're realizing that they can connect with people in other ways. So do you think traditional games like your Halo, like your Madden, are they, do you think they'll become a relic of the past? Do you think that social gaming really is sort of the predominant future? I think it's where most of the customers are going to be. There's always going to be a hardcore market that will go th for things that are deeper. So as games become easier for everybody to play, and they all have this uh, social value, that's really where the predominant audience is going to be. What do you see as being the biggest gaming trends in 2011? Well, uh, Facebook, I think, is going to get back on the gas pedal and be a growth platform for games. Uh, they were in 2009 like nobody's ever seen. In 2010, they felt like they had to retrench a little bit to deal with the uh, question of game information between gamers and non-gamers that are Facebook members and how to organize their ecosystem to satisfy both of those audiences. So they've kind of done that now, and they're getting back on the gas pedal to promote and nourish the uh, gaming activity going on on the platform. Uh, Facebook will be probably expanding soon to a billion members, so there's really never been a phenomenon in, uh, in the history of media like Facebook. And then also you're finally now seeing the device population of uh, consumer smartphones in the West get to a point where social media are spreading rampantly to mobile devices. Great. Well, Trip Hawkins, CEO of Digital Chocolate, thanks so much for joining us. Appreciate it. My pleasure.